Yeah. Good evening, children. Today in this class, we are going to learn what are atomic orbitals and what are the shapes of atomic orbitals. See, atomic orbital is the region around the nucleus where there is the probability of finding the electron is more. Finding the electron is more. That region or space is known as what we call it atomic orbital. Atomic orbital. What do you mean by orbit? Orbit is the path proposed by Niels Bohr round the nucleus. Round the nucleus, orbits are circular in shape, whereas orbitals will have different different shapes. Are you clear? So, S orbital it starts from K shell and P orbital starts from L shell and D orbital starts from M shell and F orbital starts from N shell. So, let us learn the shape of S orbital. All the S orbitals are spherical in shape. See this one. This is the sphere. This is the 1S orbital. This is the 2S orbital. This is the 3S orbital. This is the 4S orbital. So, the electron cloud is present inside the that is within this region round the nucleus. See, I will show with a balloon. See this. See this. Let us assume this is the 1s orbital. This is the 1s orbital. Are you clear about that one? So, you will find the electron within the region inside that is round the nucleus. Okay. The round the nucleus, round the nucleus, there is the space within that region you will find the electron cloud. In s orbital, two electrons are present. The electron cloud may revolve, the two electrons may revolve within this region inside it. Okay. Next, this is 2s orbital. 2s orbital, if you observe the shape, this is also spherical in shape. This is also spherical in shape, but the size is increased. Okay. 1s orbital, when you compared 1s orbital and 2s orbital, 2s orbital is larger than 1s orbital. Next, see this. This is the shape of the 3s orbital. This is the shape of the 3s orbital. The electron pair revolve round the region, round the region inside the inside the atom, inside the atom. Are you clear about that one? So, if you move from 1s, 2s and 2p, 1s, 2s, 3s and 4s, the size of the s orbital goes on increases, goes on increases. But all the s orbitals are spherical in shape. Next, go for the next one. That is, what is the next one? P orbital. Generating orbitals. One is the Pxy, Px, Py and Pz. See this. P orbitals are dumbbell in shape. If the electron cloud is oriented along the x axis, see this one. This is x axis, this is my y axis. This is Px orbital. P orbital starts from L shell. P orbital starts from L shell. I will show it the shape of the p orbitals px orbital this is px orbital so the electrons two electrons revolve round the nucleus within this region this is the nucleus within this region the electron cloud revolves okay the two electrons present in px orbital revolves within this region round the nucleus this is the region this is the region, this is the entire region where the electron cloud is revolving. This is the nucleus, the electron cloud is revolving along the x-axis, along the x-axis. Are you clear? Next, come to this one, Py. This is Py. See this, I will show it. The Py orbital. Are you clear? See this, this is the Py orbital. Okay. Next, Pz orbital. See, in the name itself, it is there. X, Y, and this is Z. So, this is the electron cloud. Within this region, the electron cloud, the two electrons move round the nucleus within this region. 
so this is pz like this like this okay this is pz are you clear okay next one what is the next one d orbital make a note of it m shell okay see this one here i am drawing okay d orbitals double dumbbell shape double dumbbell shape all together there are five d generating d orbitals are there b x y d y z d x z d x square minus y square and d z square d z square d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square d z square let us see the shape of that yes, this is the nucleus this is the region see this one okay d x y this is d x y means the electron cloud is oriented in x y plane in x y plane not on axis x y plane are you clear about that one okay so this is the shape of d x y d x y orbital okay if i if you want to learn about d y z means the electron cloud is oriented in y z plane y z plane in the same manner d z x means the electron cloud is oriented along z and x x plane z and x plane are you clear about that one next d x square minus y square what do you mean understand by d x square minus y square see this one here i will show this is x axis this is y axis see this one see the electron cloud is exactly oriented on x y axis not in plane x y axis do you understand that okay this is d x square minus y square d x square minus y square what is the next one d z square d z square in the sense see this one here is the nucleus this is the electron cloud d z square the electron cloud is exactly oriented on z axis on z axis you may write this one as x or y whatever it may be you can write anything okay if the electron cloud orients on exactly z axis then it is known as d z square all together there are five d generating d orbitals are there so in common we say that d orbitals are double dumbbell in shape are you clear okay right thank you